my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and I am super grateful to have you here with me today. And today's class is actually something I'm super psyched for. It is a part two of my most popular video at the moment, which is a deep stretch yoga flow. So how am I gonna make it different? Well, of course, we're gonna be doing some different exercises, definitely a different flow, and we're doing it for a little bit longer so you get an extra five minutes bonus. Perfect. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. Um, just before we get moving, if you would like to, the only two pieces of equipment I could recommend, since this is going to be a flexibility based flow, is either a yoga strap or if you don't have that, you can use a tie or a scarf and a yoga block. And if you don't have that, you can use a pillow or two pillows. This is just going to be able to help you get deeper into the poses if you've not already got a full range of flexibility in your body yet, but we'll get you there. So grab your things, pause the video, and everyone else, let's get started. And we're gonna start lying on our back. So come to a Shavasana position, or if you'd like to already get into the hips here, I would suggest you bring the soles of the feet together so you're in a reclined butterfly pose. You can have your hands out by your side, palms face up, or if you feel like inclined, you can bring one hand on the belly and one hand over your heart center and close your eyes. Mm. Start to notice how your body is feeling today, how this first gentle hip opener is feeling. Is your lower back pressed nicely on the mat? Do you feel your spine nice and long? Is there a way you can bring length into the body by maybe dropping the shoulders down away from the ears? If you need to, you can also adjust and scooch your butt a little bit closer to the back edge of the mat so you have more length. And how are your legs feeling? Are they tired today? Is there any way you can bring more relaxation into the legs at this moment? Maybe just letting go of any holding of the muscles there. Maybe you already felt a nice drop of your knees closer towards the mat as we just let go. Now checking in with how you're feeling today. You've chosen a deep stretch yoga flow, so I assume you're needing to either wind down or you might even be energetic and you're just really excited to get working on some flexibility. Just being aware of our emotions today in this moment. And then start noticing your breath. Noticing how your belly and your chest rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. And then slowly with attention here, start deepening that breath. So deep inhale into the chest allowing your rib cages to expand and your belly to expand like a balloon. And then feeling that breath come all the way from the belly, your rib cage, your chest and out your nose. Let's do that again. Deep inhale through the nose, in the chest, expanding the rib cage and the belly and then let's deep exhale, sighing out the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. It's so nice to activate a relaxing breath work before we do a stretching or a flexibility flow because then we're able to already tap into our parasympathetic nervous system and already telling the body that it's time to relax and let go of any tension. And that in turn when we get moving, should help us get deeper into some poses we know and love. Beautiful. Now slowly flutter the eyes open and then we're going to straighten the legs out so you're long on the mat and bring the arms by your side. On an inhale, we're going to bring that right knee in towards the chest and bring your hands and clasp them so that you're hugging your right knee. And we're just going to gently Bring the knee closer towards the body with the help of our arm strength. Breathing deeply here as we get a nice compression in the hip. 
and then maybe seeing if you can bring the knee closer towards the right shoulder. Gently pulsing that in. Beautiful. And now with the help of your hands, you can make some gentle circles with the knee in one direction, trying to stay connected with that beautiful breath that we cultivated just there one moment ago. And then reversing the direction, warming up the joints here. Beautiful, and then slowly coming back to center. And now we're just gonna lengthen the leg out and grab either behind the thigh, on the calf, or if you're already feeling flexible, you can actually wrap your two piece fingers around your big toe. Well, whoever, wherever you are at the moment, you can either be with two hands or you can hand your left hand down by your side. And what we're gonna do, no matter where we are, is we're gonna gently, slowly pulse the knee closer towards the body. And if you wanna work with your breath, you can inhale deeply. And then exhale, bring the legs slowly closer as you relax every other muscle in the body. Inhale. And exhale. And you can play around with how you're holding your leg here and maybe keeping that right foot flexed so you get a deeper stretch. If you'd like to as well, you can climb up and down the leg and see where it feels good to hold on to. And then just breathing deeply here. Our deep stretches always come with time. So it's better for you to just relax, assess where you are today, and then come back to this practice. And if you wanna work on your flexibility, then you can maybe see if you can go a bit deeper. Okay, beautiful. Now bending that right leg, we're gonna grab the outside of the right leg and bring the right knee all the way across the body so you're coming into a spinal twist. Bringing that right arm out to the side, either long or in a cactus shape here, and then gaze over to your right hand. Trying to keep both shoulders on the mat, and let's take a few deep inhales and exhales together. Inhale deeply, see if you can feel your belly expand on the inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale into the belly softening the muscles around the face. Exhale. Two more like this, inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale, beautiful. And now slowly come through center, hug that right knee in towards the chest, and then we just switch the sides. So the right leg goes out long, left knee comes in towards the body, and just start doing what we were doing on the other side, bringing that knee slowly in towards the body with those nice pulses. Breathing deeply here. Inhale. And exhale. And then slowly seeing if you can bring the left knee closer towards the left shoulder, the left armpit. And again, breathing here. Maybe bringing a smile onto your face if it feels good. Or even just smiling for yourself for showing up. Your body's gonna feel amazing after class. Okay, and then let's take those circles now, circling the left knee up and around. And again, just warming up that hip joint here. If you've seen a skeleton, which I'm sure, maybe not in real life, hopefully, <laughs> but especially in school or in like these biology classes, you'll know the hip joint is huge. So that's why it's important we spend some time warming it up. Switching direction of the circle. And then slowly coming back to center. And now let's take our little hamstring stretch here. So we're gonna lengthen the left leg out. And again, climbing your way up your leg to wherever feels comfortable for you. You can take the peace fingers around the left foot. And don't worry if this side feels completely differently for you. This side typically for me is way more flexible. So don't worry about it. We do try to find balance in yoga, but it's very typical that we lead with a certain side of our body and yeah, our work in yoga is to try, just to try and balance that out. So bringing those deep inhales and exhales wherever you are on this side. And again, maybe playing around, see how it is to take one cycle of breath and 
the pose holding the calves, then going down to the thigh. And don't worry if you don't look like you're holding your foot already, that is totally fine. We call it a yoga practice because everything that we do here is a practice. It's something we do again and again to achieve mindfulness, a healthy body, or whatever our intention might be at that time. One more deep inhale here. And exhale, beautiful bending that left knee. And now we bring the left knee up and over the body, over to the right side, coming into our spinal twist on this side. And then walking that left hand all the way out straight or coming into a cactus shape, your choice. Trying to bring both shoulders down onto the mat. And you can gaze at the left hand or slowly close your eyes. Taking a few deep breaths here. Feeling that beautiful stretch. Not only are we getting a spinal twist, but we're stretching out the back. And hopefully you feel as much as I do, that stretch in the lower back. Oh, and that's one of the tightest areas of the body, at least for me, because I have to spend a lot of my time seated. Mm, so bring some nice deep breaths into this area. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale into the belly. And exhale. One last one, inhale. And exhale, beautiful. And then slowly coming back through center, let's hug our knees in towards the chest here, hugging them in nice and tight. And then we're gonna rock and roll up our spine. So we're rocking and rolling, getting a nice massage in the spine here. And then when you feel ready, just coming up and crossing over at the ankles and making your way into a tabletop position. Perfect. So we're in a nice tabletop here. Spread out the fingers nice and wide, pushing into the fingertips and then making sure your hips are over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists. Let's take a couple body circles instead of our traditional cat cows here. So we're just going to drop the belly and round our way. This is a really great way for you to feel into your body because it's not something that we do a lot in any exercises or yoga. So you can start to feel maybe if it feels good to lean forward a little bit and back or whether you want to go really slow or really fast. Seeing if you can try and bring your head, neck and shoulders into the movement and then maybe moving around a little bit like a snake. This is your time to play on the mat. And the best thing about home practice is you don't have to worry if you feel like you look silly, you are alone. So it's totally fine and I'm here with you. And then switching the directions if you were doing circles here or just continue if you're moving freely. Great way to warm up the spine, the whole body, getting a nice massage of the stomach as well. And taking one more deep breath here, however you're feeling into the body. And then we'll slowly come back to stillness. And keeping the lower body where it is, let's walk those ha hands out in front of you and drop your forehead down onto the mat. And we're coming back into our lovely puppy pose, melting heart pose. Mm, we did this in the first class as well, so maybe you're already used to it if you've done this before. We're trying to energetically bring our heart center and our chest closer towards the mat. And when you do that, you'll feel this intense stretch around the shoulders. Don't worry, if it's too tight, just make your way into child's pose because we do not tend to stretch our shoulders in that area as much as we should. So it's okay if it's feeling a little bit tight right now. But if you're feeling flexible enough, you can also drop your forearms down and get a deeper stretch. We'll be here for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. And then everyone just slowly melt your way back. So you're coming into a child's pose, widening the knees as much as you would like. And then just wiggling your hips from side to side. Inhale here. And exhale. Beautiful. And then slowly rolling your way back up into tabletop. Plant the hands onto the mat and come up into your first downward facing dog. So bending the knees, bringing the seat towards the heels. And then making your way into down dog. Start bending one knee at a time. Breathing deeply as you stretch out the back of the legs. 
dropping the shoulders away from the ears just like we did when we were lying down and then slowly coming into stillness in our downward facing dog beautiful so we're going to walk our hands close towards our feet you need, if you need to bend the knees you definitely can here and then bring the chin in towards the chest and roll your way all the way up to standing when you get there bringing the arms up overhead and then exhale bending in the knees coming back into our forward fold and then simply walking our way back to downward facing dog a nice little warming way to warm up the body and also get into all parts of the body being stretched so let's do it again walking the hands back towards the feet chin in towards the chest and roll your way all the way up to standing and then back down exhale coming all the way back down here walking your hands back out into downward facing dog and then just stay here on an inhale we're going to lift the left leg out behind us into three-legged dog and slowly bring the left foot in between the hands at the top of the mat Let's keep the back knee lifted for a while and we're gonna stay in our runner's lunge. This is where the pillows or the blocks would come in handy. So if you can't stay here on your fingertips, then maybe having your hands onto two blocks or two pillows. Otherwise, if your wrists are sore, you can also come up onto your fists. And then just rock back and forward here for a second, gazing down just in front of the mat. Maybe bringing a smile to your face as you feel that deep stretch in the right hip flexor and then slowly let's drop the right knee down feel free to double up your mat if you need a little bit of cushion under your right knee and then we're going to use our core strength here and lift the arms up overhead slowly dipping that hip down towards the mat and inhale lengthen the fingertips up towards the ceiling and then exhale let's bring our left hand to our left hip and we're going to lean over to the left side this will really intensify the stretch you're feeling in that right front of the hip flexor. Breathing deeply here, getting a nice side body stretch too. One more deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And then inhale, slowly coming back through center. Let's bring our hands down onto the mat. We're gonna stay low here with the hips, but we're gonna lift that left hand up towards the ceiling. And then when you're there, you can bend that back knee and grab the foot if you'd like to. And this is a great stretch for your quads. So if you'd like to stretch the hips more, maybe just stay here and twist open, getting a spinal twist. But if you'd like to get into the quads, and I'm a runner, so I do, I would then slowly using my hand and my arm strength, help guide my foot closer towards my glutes. Now I did a 10K run today, so my glutes are tight um, so I'm not going to push it too much I don't want an injury and again just moving with the breath you can also just slowly bring the foot in and out if you'd like to whatever you feel works for you today wherever you are we'll take one more deep breath in together and exhale and then slowly release the foot if you're holding it here plant the hands on the mat and step back into a downward facing dog if you'd like to here, you can come through a vinyasa or just stay in downward facing dog. So if you're taking the vinyasa, let's inhale forward into plank. Bring the knees down, the chest and the chin. And then on an inhale, we roll forward into a baby cobra. And exhale, head down. Tuck the toes under and lift the hips up for downward facing dog. Let's go straight to the other side here. So inhale, lifting the left leg out behind you. Three-legged dog and then bringing the right foot in between the hands at the top of the mat same rules apply we're staying in our runner's lunge for a little bit so just take whatever variation works for you if you don't have blocks or a pillow and you cannot reach the ground don't worry you can maybe come up into a high lunge and just hold here because we're just here for one more breath inhale deeply and exhale and then slowly releasing that left knee down onto the mat using our core strength. Let's inhale and lift all the way up. And exhale to sink your hips down. Beautiful here. Feeling that deep stretch. I love this stretch. For anyone that runs or bikes or sits a lot, this is therapy. <laughs> inhale here. And exhale. And then slowly bringing your hand onto your right hip, we're gonna lean over to the right side here, getting deeper into that stretch, feeling the stretch in the hips, the side body. Inhale. 
and exhale beautiful one more deep inhale and exhale and then inhale coming back through center we release the hands down onto the mat and then lifting the right arm up towards the ceiling again slowly bending that back leg grabbing the back foot and again playing around with whatever feels good for you today i'm going to play with bringing the foot closer towards the glutes here, but still trying to keep my hips nice and low. So I'm really getting that spinal twist in, hips are open, hip flexors stretch, quads are working. It's a good, good day for this practice. Inhale deeply. And exhale. And then we slowly release that back leg, plant the hands on the mat and step back into a downward facing dog and again if you'd like to come through a vinyasa here let's roll forward into high plank and this time feel free to take a chaturanga inhale to your cobra or upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog beautiful and now let's slowly release the knees onto the mat swing the legs around and meet me in a nice butterfly pose so just like we were doing on our back this time we're going to bring the feet down while we're sitting up and then grabbing at the ankles here and we're just going to slowly butterfly our little wings here. I used to do this in ballet a lot when I was younger so it brings back a lot of great memories. <laughs> Trying to keep your spine nice and long, dropping the shoulders away from the ears and lifting the heart up so the chest is nice and open. Inhale here and exhale and then slowly stopping those wings from fluttering and we're just going to inhale the arms go up overhead and folding over the legs a beautiful deep low back stretch here allowing your chin to come into the chest so you stretch the back of the neck as your whole back is nice and long and the spine is long you can maybe sway a little bit from side to side or if you'd like to, you can also walk your hands from side to side, yogi's choice. Breathing deeply, whatever option you took. Closing the eyes. Maybe bring a little smile to your face. It's crazy how good the body can feel when we just allow it to have a little bit of restoration, a little bit of rest, a little stretch. I tend to smile quite a lot throughout my practice because I'm always like, oh, I'm so glad I'm here on the mat. <laughs> Perfect. So inhale deeply. And exhale. And then slowly walking the hands back towards the body. For a minute here, just bring the hands behind you. Bring the soles of the feet on the mat. And this is something I love to do is knocking the knees from side to side so we get a nice rotation in both directions of the hip. Beautiful. And then slowly let's come back to center and cross over our legs for a final little meditation. Before we get into it, inhale the arms up overhead, get your palms to touch and exhale, bringing the hands down through heart center and you can rest the hands on the thighs, face down or face up and slowly close the eyes. Start to check in with the body Maybe see how it felt in the beginning of class and see how it's feeling now. Maybe notice any areas of the body that feel particularly good. And see if you can bring this practice into your routine a little bit more so you can keep that feeling. And then slowly allow all thoughts and awareness to drift away. See how it feels to sit in silence. See if you can allow yourself to just be. And don't worry if any thoughts come in to the mind during this short practice. That's the whole point. 
we sit in silence and just watch. Notice if anything comes up and build the strength, the mental capacity to just say, okay, I see you. I don't need you right now. I'm going to go back to this beautiful, relaxing stillness. Mm. One more moment like this. And you can always come back to the breath if you lose that feeling, if you get distracted. And then slowly, let's all start deepening in our inhales. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, deep sigh out the mouth. <sighs> And again, more audible this time, inhale. And exhale, let it all go. <sighs> Beautiful, you can bring your hands together at heart center. Slowly bring a little smile onto your mouth again. Feel that body radiate with energy now. And allow yourself to fill up with lots of gratitude for yourself, for showing up today for you, your body, your mind your breath, and others. You can start to flicker open the eyes and welcome back. I hope you're feeling good now. I definitely feel it as well in the body. I'm also just generally feeling more calm, so I hope that resonated. Let me know if you want a part three and if you'd like it to be longer or if you have different asanas you want to work on or if there's certain parts of the body you need help with. Um, I'm always available in the comments section and I'm super grateful for you to be here with me today. Have an amazing day. Bye.